All right, so when doing a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, I have negative 2 x cubed y squared raised to the fifth power. So what I want to do, Ken, for this problem is you know, I need to apply my power of power rule. That's cool. So by looking at the power of power rule, or remember, the power of power stated that if I had x squared raised to another, another exponent, I now am going to multiply those exponents, right? So we need to apply that rule. We also need to write the product of power rule. And the product of power rule stated, if I had x times y raised to the second power, that meant x squared times y squared. right? So whatever your exponent is, as long as that was multiplication, apply to all terms inside of there. So by applying that property, what that can state now is I have negative 2 to the fifth, x cubed to the fifth, and y squared to the fifth. So this fifth power gets applied to every single term inside the parentheses. Does that make sense? Kind of? OK. So now I'm just going to apply the power of power rule. Power of power states, if you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply. Well, this is just negative 2 to the fifth, which is going to be negative 32. It's negative 2 multiplied by itself five times. Since it's an odd exponent, it's going to be negative. x cubed raised to the fifth, 3 times 5 is 15. And then y to the 10th power. And that's it. OK. Cool. Yes. Yes. Yes.